In this video, we'll cover the initial download, installation, and usage of our Danfoss service tool software, which we use to connect into our uh, AKPC pack controllers, so model types such as AKPC 781A, 782A, and so on. To download the software uh, onto a PC, we just want to start either in a Google search where we could go in and look for AKST 500 is the abbreviation for our service tool software, and you would see the link here. Or you can go to our danfoss.com slash supermarket support page. And from this page where we host a series of videos and documents that technicians can use for various topics, uh, you also see a section down towards the bottom for downloads, which is our, our different PC softwares that we offer, with one option for that same service tool software where you can download. Once you've downloaded and installed the software, you'll notice that there are two separate software tools that are installed onto your computer. One is called service tool and a second called configuration. Service tool would be the option we used for our, our standard connections when we're connecting into the pack controllers to diagnose, troubleshoot, um, check status updates, that type of thing. Whereas configuration is a, a tool that's going to be used less frequently. Uh, here we're setting things like the communication port that we're using for our direct connection over a USB cable from our PC into the pack controller. Units of measure, software upgrades, these are the types of things that we're doing under this configuration tool. So I've gone ahead and opened that configuration tool up here. Again, as you can see, you can set your COM port. So once you've connected a USB cable into a PAC controller, uh, the computer and the software will auto recognize what COM port's being used and just give you options for uh, available COM ports or, or COM ports that are in use. So you'll be able to make your selection from there. And if you do have multiple and you're not 100% sure, you can always just try one. And if the connection fails, you can try another option that you have under this drop down. Uh, some options here that we, we typically wouldn't touch on, but then again, down towards the bottom, uh, units of measure here. So switching between imperial and metric is an option that you have. The units of measure that you see when you are connected through the service tool software are not a setting that are directly tied into the pack controller. So two users with their own computer could each connect into the same pack controller and one could have their units set to Imperial, the other in metric units, and they would each be able to view it based on their own preference. Upgrade device is an option we can use to upgrade the firmware in a pack controller. We'll cover that exact process in a separate video, but this is where you would begin uh, that, that process of upgrading firmware. And then in, down at the bottom, we can choose between different language options for how the information will be displayed on our service tool view. So once we've configured this screen the way we want, uh, again, we typically would not go into configuration again unless there's something specific from one of those features we needed. We can close this out and open our main service tool screen here where we get a pop-up and we have different options for the types of connections. You can view files offline. You can make that local direct connection, which is the option highlighted here over a USB cable. And there are some remote capability options for pack controllers through service tool. Certain things have to be in place. Uh, the pack controller has to be tied into a system manager and the um, network switch or router that we're using has to have specific ports open to allow us to tunnel in through the system manager into the pack controller. For this video, we'll be covering just a direct connection in over a USB cable. So we'll allow that or leave that connection at the top set as direct and we'll hit connect at the bottom you can see here in small text as we're making this initial connection our part number of our pack controller and the current firmware version in it are uh, are listed if it's your first time connecting into a pack controller at a specific uh, model type or firmware version of a model type it can take a little longer there are some base files that the pack controller is building into the computer uh, template files, and so when you make uh, additional connections into that same device type, they will go a little faster. 
once we're brought into the login screen here, uh, the defaults for, for service tool for a pack controller would be to change your drop down menu to SUPV for supervisor, and then 123 is the passcode that gets you in. At this point, you're, you're connected into your pack controller, and so we'll have further videos that cover what screens you can navigate through, uh, if we need to load databases into the pack controller, again, firmware upgrades. We'll have separate videos that cover each one of those topics, uh, but for now, this is an initial introduction into installing that service tool software and making your initial connection in.